Yo, the 2K24 Park trailer is finally here, guys. And I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. It looks absolutely fire. We have a brand new beachfront city. As you can see, there's a court on the beach. We have Ronnie in a duck floaty. So I'm just gonna show the full trailer right now. And then I'm gonna go over everything in detail with you guys. I'm gonna break every single thing down we have a bunch of new courts as well but mainly we have two brand new park affiliations so we have elite and we have rise so ld2k is the owner of elite you have to talk to him to join in game and shakedown 2012 is the owner of rise i believe you talk to him in game to join rise now these two parks look absolutely fire I cannot lie, but I, I I am probably joining Elite, man. That that one is just too good, man. It looks like it looks like the old stage, to be honest. So I'm gonna break absolutely everything down right now. But before we do, drop a like on the video. Let's try to get this to a thousand likes, man. I'm not gonna lie though. 2K24, it's looking pretty good, man. All we need is some good gameplay. They heard us with the parks. They added palm trees. They made it at night sometimes. It looks beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. So the first thing I noticed in the trailer is they showed three versions of the parks. They showed it during the day, during the afternoon or whatever, when it's turning nighttime, and then when it gets pitch black. The park looks fire at night, I cannot lie. And then the elite park as well. When it's nighttime, it has got to look beautiful. I'm already telling you guys right now, I'm joining the Elite Park. That park is just too fire. So the next thing I notice in the trailer is we have this little beach portion of the park. Now, I don't believe this has anything to do with the affiliations. It's just some random beach court. I assume it has something to do with like my career quest or something like that. But I mean, 2K did snap with this. This is a nice court. It's right next to the beach, right next to the water. I wish they had a whole affiliation that was just like that. I feel like that was a little missed opportunity but I am very happy with these two new park affiliations. Look at Ronnie, man. Freaking Ronnie, bro. Like, Ronnie, you gotta unblock me on Twitter, bro. You're the community manager, bro. It was 2K20, bro. I did nothing wrong, Ronnie. I did nothing wrong, bro. Unblock me, Ronnie. The next thing I noticed, though, in the trailer, it's still a big, ginormous city, but I'm not really that mad about that. I know I've been pushing for, like, small parks for the past few years since they introduced the city because we're not gonna get games, of course. But there's a chance we get games now. There's only two park affiliations. It's not like there's four, so everything is scattered all over the place. I think 2K's learned from that. The fact that there's only two park affiliations, Elite and Rise, it should be a lot easier to get games now. People aren't gonna be in all four parks. They're just gonna be in two parks now. I believe they added entrances, as you can see right here. This is actually very fire, and I also see this as 2K is listening to us. So in 2K17, there was Sunset Beach, Rivet City, and there was Old Town. So to travel, you'd have to go to the very top of the park, press your button, and then it would travel you to the other park. So they added entrances here. So this is the elite one, and then this is the rise one. The rise one, it looks like you have to go under a waterfall. This is the waterfall right here. I think this is very cool. This is two new, very cool additions to the parks. Now it does say in the courtside report from 2K and previous 2K's affiliations were broken into four quadrants. However, now it's two affiliations, Rise and Elite. And in each season, members of Rise and Elite will fight to lift their affiliations of victory. So I'm assuming that'll be rival day, basically. And it says the winning side and contributors get new prizes. Also, when you load up 2K, it says you'll be unaffiliated, but it says in the courtside report, you need to do your homework to determine which group is the best fit for you. So there's the Atlantis themed park, which is Rise. As you can see, it's very like underwater. It's very like water themed and like Poseidon themed. And you are literally playing underwater, it looks like. You are in an aquarium. If you look closely, it literally looks like you're playing underwater. Like the water has rised up surrounding the edges, playing under the water. I think that's a fire addition. And then Elite is like a futuristic world with neon lights. It looks fire at night. And then LD2K is the Elite rep and Shakedown is the Rise rep. So then you have to talk to them, learn more about the parks. I'm not sure if each one will give a certain boost to certain attributes like old 2Ks, but hopefully that's a thing, man. Yeah, if you guys didn't remember, in old 2Ks, Sunset Beach, 
which would give you a shooting boost or town flyers would give you a dribbling playmaking boost and rivet city would give you a rebounding and defensive boost maybe there's a chance each affiliation here gives a certain boost to something but i'm not too sure but 2k did right you need to do your homework and determine which group is the best fit for you so maybe there's some things to learn about the new parks man anyways you'll catch me joining the elite park regardless i don't care man the park just looks too fire bro but in the trailer i did not see the stage i could not find the stage and 2k does say that the anti-up has returned unless this purple building on the right is the stage i'm very confused and also they did not show the courts the so 2k has added back all of the stores they're all right next to each other it looks like adidas new balance puma on the right there's a store for elite so i assume there's stores for your respective park affiliations now i did notice this one place called art of shooting i am not sure exactly what this is maybe it's used for like the practice facility to like get your badges or something i'm not sure it's probably something with the quests in the my career storyline so let's go over the game modes real quick in this city so here we have pro-am i noticed pro-am is back i saw the wreck as well so we have the wreck and we have pro-am okay then we have the theater if you guys don't remember the theater they would add different like 1v1 2v2 3v3 modes in the theater if you guys don't remember they had the 1v1 court in there i actually really messed with the 1v1 they should add a separate 1v1 court somewhere man i feel like there desperately needs to be its own 1v1 mode somewhere but besides that i noticed there is this new mode called starting five all right now you might be looking at this and trying to wonder what could this possibly be so starting five is an online 1v1 head-to-head -head mode you challenge other players using a team made up of your my player and four other nba players four very good nba players each game you choose the team and you slot yourself into the starting lineup along the nba's biggest names the style of play feels like a standard my career game because you're playing with four ais on your team but you're going head to head basically you're playing online it's to get you in the game quickly by yourself so it's like playing online my career against someone it's not like co-op my career you're playing online against someone you and four ai nba players against someone else with their my player and four nba players the park really does look fire at night though why has 2k not done this until just now bro they made a whole park based off of wow it looks so good at night like look at this bro look at how good this looks bro like this elite park is actually so fire bro i just hope when new seasons drop they don't mess up the court designs and make the court designs ugly like in the past few 2ks just keep it simple please please keep it simple you can clearly see the court in this screenshot it's like a light blue it's like dark blue it's got a little bit of pink like it looks very simple and clean I like that. Hopefully 2K just doesn't mess up the design. So I noticed these three street ball courts as well in the trailer. So it's for this street ball side quest, which is a sing it's a single player experience, all right? So you have to play on all three courts and you can unlock the changing takeover perks by doing this. So that's very necessary. You guys are gonna want to do this. Now that's it for the trailer. Let me know down below. Are you guys gonna join Elite or are you gonna join Rise? How do you feel about these brand new parks i think they're absolutely fire man i think the elite one is definitely a little bit better but both of them are fire 2k you snapped with these parks i cannot lie i just need to see the stage i need the gameplay to be good and 2k24 will be a great game it looks like getting games shouldn't be as big of an issue now because there's only two park affiliations instead of four but i am very very excited for 2k24 man let me know how you guys feel about it it's going to be a great year man drop a like subscribe turn those noties on shout out to 2k man they snapped with this i love you guys and i will see you in the next video man